Hello, my name is Kark82, and welcome back to our multi-block madness two series. Now, I have just been sorting out kind of what I want to do with the ultimate ingots, and uh, one thing I needed to sort of fix is my mana production. These unfortunately are taking a lot of mana so i'm gonna have to increase this uh it worked for a while but now that i'm uh using it more especially those uh those diamond things what are they electro i can't remember but they use up like half a thing it's like a crazy amount um so i'm starting to have issues when i'm like oh i need mana powder but the uh, the middle one has been emptied out from the uh, oh look at that it, like disappeared <laughs> the transmutation thing it's kind of funny it's like easy to see there but hard to see like right there uh, but yeah so uh, I was thinking how do I want to do this and I think I'm actually going to I'm not gonna spend like 6,000 hours trying to sort out like some crazy cool like what's that one the it's like the game of life basically can't remember what the what flower that is but uh it produces so much mana I could do like the tree one uh, unfortunately it doesn't really fit in <laughs> anywhere uh with this build so uh, I don't know about that I mean I could move this but uh, I think what I'm actually going to do is craft up some gore, this one, just to kind of have something going permanently, like it'll be permanently being fed. This one is having to wait for this, and uh, this does feel slower than it usually is in my... I've done this in uh, other worlds. This one does feel a little bit slower. Now, I haven't really thought about, is it... Is it the constellation I have it set to? I, I can't remember, to be honest. Is there, like, a better one that uh, would make it go faster? I, I honestly, I can't remember, because I haven't really... I think I just have the basic one. Um, maybe I'll, I'll think about that, but I haven't really had to get any more of the constellations. As we can see, I haven't even... I don't even know where the thing is. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, I haven't spent like any time on this. Uh, maybe I should do that. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to craft up some Gourmalis. Also, I fixed this. Now, the way I had it, everything was going in here. I know this is like, looks overly complicated. Uh, it's actually not, though. Like, this is just the one that hits it to start the ritual and uh, I had the stuff being dropped on to the thing from the chest and um, what was happening it was dropping runes for the tier 2 runes it was dropping the earth and the air but since I have that set to be picked up by this thing uh, it was they were being picked up uh, it might have been this one. Is it this one? I can't remember. One of them was picking it up uh, before it could drop. And uh, so basically I have put down a new user and we'll have the user. This user basically right clicks the the thing instead of dropping the rune. So they don't get picked up by the uh, the thing. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, how are we getting this? How are they picking up those? Because I crafted up a summer room and it picked it up. Something picked it up. Oh, I'm like, how did that get picked up? Craft up another one, I guess. Also, there's some weirdness with the the melon. And then the living zone. There we go. Yeah, what picked it up? <laughs> I I actually don't know. That's a whitelist. Oh, that's right. I know. Uh, that the. I have the uh, ignore metadata, so it's picking them all up. That's what it is. It took me a second to like 
remember i'm like how is it, how are we picking these up so there we go so runes aren't dropping is just placing them in and that uh i think that setup works actually really well um but like i said i'm going to craft up um some of these now all right, I wasn't sure if that would actually <laughs> make it down there before I my magnet picked it up. It does seem to work. All right, cool. So there is a Gormorivalis or whatever. Um, I do want to have this floating. What's the... Uh... Right, flower, pasture seed. No, is it the pasture seed? Yeah, it is pasture seed, isn't it? which I have a couple. Now I'm gonna just have this auto crafting and I think I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna get some better food. Um, one of the ones I'm gonna do is probably, let me just do this really quick while I am. Um, oh, I don't have any flowers, do I? No. I really want, Um, I was kind of hoping I could get the, hold on one second, let me just finish, hello, there's another creeper over there, come on, I need, I'm like there's botanical flowers all over the place until I need them, all right, thankfully we fly pretty quick. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. Uh, I crafted up the cooking for blockheads so we could see all the recipes. Um, that is, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a limit on how much these can produce. So that would be pointless. Um, a lot of these would be pointless. Maybe the s'mores one would be, but uh, I don't have any of this stuff set up yet. I haven't really even looked at, I don't think I've ever crafted that up before. So I actually don't know. I don't actually don't know what goes into making that, to be honest. Um, but one of the easier ones is this uh, cooked chicken soup, which actually uses iron. But it gives, as we can see, 16 saturation. Um, and it's basically a bucket with some raw chicken. Um, we have an infinite supply of iron. Uh, but the problem is I don't have a supply of chicken. I could do a spawner, but uh, the easiest way would be chicken essence. So what I'm thinking is, unfortunately, I cannot craft these up. I don't have any more seeds. The only one I have is a tier one crafting seed. Uh, so I think I'm just going to do... I need to put these on. Don't I have to connect, combine them with, like, glowstone? It's been a while since I have that. Yeah, it's that. It's too, <laughs> too glowstone. And then that. Yeah, so I'm going to just do the basic one here, and then I will... I'll upgrade the food as needed. There we go. So there is a floating Gormorlass. Um, I'm going to craft up the other two. I just need a few more runes for that, but I would like to do this. Now, I think I'm probably just going to set it kind of over here, maybe. And then I'm just going to do a crafting card to craft up this uh craft up this stuff now i think i'm gonna do a timer Batania has the hourglass which is the easiest way i find this is the easiest way to do these basically you just find out how long it takes for it to eat the food and set this hourglass to it and uh that should work. So let me uh, get this done. And oh, I was going to do I'm going to do potato. That's what 
I was gonna do this gives three and it is basically we're basically growing it with the nature essence so super easy to craft up that I should have another thing in there but uh, yeah so let me get this crafted up I'm gonna do um, export bus probably into a dropper I think a precision dropper I should just have a recipe for this. I've never, never ended up making one because I've only done it a couple times, but I think you might as well do that. Do that. So easy. So that to that and then the hourglass. Okay, as I was uh, setting this up over here, uh, two things. One... I realized this is going slow and I'm like, did I screw up the thing when I was clearing out? And uh, I came down here and yeah, apparently I did. I broke a block that I didn't realize. So that multi-block wasn't actually working. <laughs> so no wonder this was going so much slower. Uh, that has been, uh, I don't even, that's been a while since i noticed that i'm like why am i having issues with mana all of a sudden because i wasn't for a while um so i fix that uh that should help a bit also now that i have fixed that this setup probably doesn't even matter but uh whatever um also i realized i had forgotten that the gormalaeus or whatever actually um you have to rotate the food, otherwise it gets less and less. You get less and less from it. And I'd totally forgotten about that change. Uh, feeding the whatever, the same type of food multiple times in a row will result in each one producing less and less. Uh, so it was getting down to almost like nothing. So basically I just set up two droppers. One with cooked fish, one with potato, and then have the... The droppers alternating but uh to be honest now that i fixed that i don't even know if we <laughs> it's gonna matter it's not producing that much power it'll produce more if i have better food but uh yeah it is what it is i'm not gonna worry about that we'll see um i could even i could probably craft up more kekamiris actually because as we can see this isn't transforming them because it is at least at nighttime, it is, it's not keeping up. So, yeah, that is a little setup for that. But, yeah, it's, not that you have to rotate, it's kind of pointless. Also, I couldn't find a dropper that would rotate the, I could have sworn there was a dropper um, that you could do round robin on the things. And I can't find that. Um, and none of the droppers that are in the pack seem to have that functionality. But I could have sworn I, I've done that in the past, and I, I thought it was the precision ones. But maybe I'm. It's not like that dropper, is it? The vanilla dropper. That doesn't. Yeah, there's no. It's not random, or it doesn't uh, do round robin, but. Because that would make this way, way easier <laughs> if it could do round robin. Uh, but anyway, so there we go. That should help with that. Let me get away from that crazy amount of noise. Okay, so I am setting up automation for the agglomeration plate things. And I've gone ahead and set up TerraSteel. Finally did that. Now, I don't have it set. If I do like... A whole bunch at once it's just going to drop them all down so i don't have that part of it set up i really need to do uh i need to do like a, a thing to turn it off a comparator maybe like the other one um it is been a while since i have automated this stuff um so i need to do that and um, we need to 
figure that stuff out. Um, also, setting up, I think... I think I'm going to set this up to craft up mirroring ingots since the crystal ones aren't super. We're not crafting up tons of those right now. Um, I think I'm going to set this up to craft these. Uh, and that'll be like the main one for this. And then if I need those crystal ones, I'll probably just create a new one. I kind of, I really wish I could do the fluids a bit better. Uh, what's that? Oh, there are volumetric flasks. Hmm. That is such a fun mod. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll... I don't know. Uh, what I was thinking is basically just outputting this stuff. Kind of. I don't even think we need these anymore, to be honest. Uh, oh, how do I want to do this? I'll probably... Wait, that's not going to work, is it? I need down one. Because what I was going to do is just I'll put it into a chest and then split the items. So... That works. I don't really like doing that with the cables, but just aesthetics. Doesn't matter, but I don't know. I like I like seeing the channels. Uh, so we'll do that. And then I put all those. We'll do item conduit, and then I'll just do a filter or something like that. Uh, filter. No paper? How do I not have paper? <laughs> Probably because every time I need paper, I just do that. Um, I need to go... Oh, no, of course. We have nature seeds. There we go. That's why I don't have any paper. <laughs> and then by the time I need it again, I will forget. I guess I don't need an advanced one. I could have just done a regular basic one. Oh, well. Uh, blacklist, uh, base essence, ingots, and what was the other thing it put in? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, co cobalt, I think it was. Was it cobalt? I don't remember. Mirian, what are you? Yeah, cobalt, molten, base. So we'll just blacklist that. And then... I will we'll bring it out to a melter. To there. Let's throw a coil on it. Throw a big one on there in case. Nah, I'm probably not going to be putting 87,000 um, upgrades on there. So this will be and that is hooked over there as well uh, I don't think it's going to matter which one also maybe you want to throw a filter on there just to be safe Alright, so basically it's just going to put the stuff in the chest. We're going to export from the chest, put the stuff, the regular ingots, and then the ones we need to melt down in here, and then that is how we're going to get the thing in there. Now maybe I could, I could maybe use those flasks for, I don't know, I may switch this to flasks. Uh, I don't know, I'm just going to have to take a look. I don't have time for that right this second, or today even. Um, I do think that'll work. Now, I do have stuff in there, so I need to actually switch this. I'm going to change the 
We're going to change this to do two at a time, but with one, what is it? Times two? Yeah. Do that, does two, and then we'll do cobalt ingot, and then the essence ingot. Just the one. All right, so that should work. Let's just double check that this does work. Right. We should be dropping the stuff. The Oh, yep. That's why we have issues with the <laughs> That's right. I crafted up two, didn't I? Is that what I was trying to do? Yep. Yep. So I probably need to sort that out somehow. Wait, why is it? It just worked. I swear, I just used it and it worked. Hold on. Terra Steel. Am I too close? Is that what happened? Are we getting some weirdness again? <laughs> Is it being... I didn't change... It, I swear, right before I started recording, it worked. Oh. Is this like a man? Ah. No, I don't have one with them. That There's no way that could reach over there. What is even happening? <laughs> what is going on? It. What? How did it. Is it. Is could I put terrestrial on there? Terrestrial? With the. How is that? <laughs> How does that is the same as the oh, hold on? How is that the same as the mana diamonds and the? Are they like the same MBT or something? Metadata? I don't know. That that's a bit weird, right? Okay, watch this. If I take that off, does this work? Yep. Now, if I add, there we go, it picks that up. Well, I don't know how to sort that out. <laughs> Other than putting that in a different one with, don't ignore metadata. Because that's for the springs. I mean, I could always throw another thing, but okay. So apparently... Apparently, Manda Diamonds and the terrestrial, terrestrial ingots have the same metadata? Let's just double check that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yep. Alright, well, that's, that's something we're going to have to figure out and totally completely unexpected all right um anyway let's try the mirian he gets now that we have that it should yep there they go i'm gonna have to put some things in there why not have that set to i do there we go all right so that should Yep, there we go. Uh, may throw fluid things on there, but all right. So there we go. That is basically this 100% automated, except for that weirdness over there. I think I'm just going to throw down a another vacuum hopper. I, I think that's the only way to get around this. Yeah, I'll just throw it on a vacuum chest or whatever on top and then have it set to the three things that I need instead of having that with the ignore meta, metadata with the spring. It's basically... Basically the, the runes, because I didn't want to have to put all the runes. The other option would be to do an advanced filter. Maybe I'll just do an advanced filter. You know what? 
and I'll just put all the I'll put all uh, the things on there. That's what I'll do, and not have ignore metadata. Okay, so I am over by the ultimate ingot. Terra Steel, Agglomeration, whatever, whatever. And uh, I've gone ahead and set up formation planes underneath. Uh, attached a controller with just a quart, so it's a, a sub-network. And I have a interface on the actual network here. And then I'm going to have a crafting card in here to keep these stocked. And then uh, I've thrown an import bus on to that interface. So basically, when these get broken, it's going to try to import these, and then these act as like a storage bus kind of thing. Uh, so in theory, and it did work for this one, if I break this, it should place the... Really? <laughs> I love how, like, it worked for the other one, but it didn't work for that one. Does it have to be... Maybe it has to go into the A system. I swear it worked for the other one. It placed it. No! Why? Why? It worked. It literally worked. See? That's a down one. Ah. All right. Let's see if it does this one. Okay, see, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> um, I actually have been having issues with these diamantine things, and it's still that diamond bug. I'm going to have to update the pack and uh, see if, I, if something's going wrong with this, because, as we can see, it works with the emiratic. It's not working with that. Let's see if I can. Let's do this. All right. Why did it? Shouldn't it only? <laughs> shouldn't it only be placed as that? Why did it place the Meratic there? Man, every time I think I know what's going on, something weird happens. It does not want to place that. Places that one okay. I am seriously wondering if there is some issue, like a bug of some sort with that, because, I mean, why would it place the emeratic and not place the diamantine? The emerald, um, the emerald empowered. Wait, did it place it? Or did I place it? What on earth is going on here? <laughs> uh, why is it working now? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's working fine. No problem. There we go. It works. <laughs> uh, anyone? Anyone know why that is being the way it's being? All right. Well, I'm not going to mess with the annihilation but i did want to test if they worked on top because when i was placing them on the side i realized that's kind of annoying um because i would have to have three on the side three on that side one there one there kind of thing so it's just hard to get the cable so i want to see if it works like this so let's try an ultimate ingot and then i will i'm going to update the pack and see if that fixes some of this weirdness because it is Definitely acting a bit funny. Now, as we can see, everything seems to be working. I haven't, this is the first time I've actually tested this fully with the uh, start to finish. I don't remember what the twilight ingot, what was that? Oh, that was the, uh, the thing, wasn't it? Oh, there it goes. It's working. It's working. I auto-crafted. I auto-crafted it uh probably a vacuum chest also the other thing that is i said this last time i didn't 
craft up a recipe because it didn't really uh what was it pulsating crystal i wish i could do uh recipes from here all right vacuum chest before this thing i don't want that to like all right well there it goes i'm like i don't want that to disappear uh let's three three two maybe is two I think two works, right? Yeah, three. I think three is better. Um, and then we just need the filter for that. All right, but that is pretty cool. I mean, I literally clicked a button and we got an ultimate ingot. I mean, we've made some pretty awesome progress. And now I... Uh, I still don't have a recipe for the ultimate ingot. Uh, let's just throw a conduit on there and that should complete that. So I think uh, I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of this. Like I said, I'm gonna update the pack, see if that fixes the diamond. I'm also having issues with emeralds as well. Um, I don't know if that is what is also causing that, um, but it definitely started when I updated. Yeah, see, it seems to be working now, but as soon as I start, if I try to auto craft, this is when we start getting into issues. Yep, see, it's not showing up, even though they are indeed. They are crafting going in the A system. No. Well, now you're. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> All right, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.